How we doing, Kipsters? Today we're gonna learn about time, two different types of clocks. Analog clock, digital clock. The battery's actually out of this, but I miss y'all. We're gonna talk about time a little bit. We're gonna talk about analog clocks. So you're gonna need a few things. Get your paper. Get your pencil. Get a cup or something round like this. We're gonna be making clocks, so you need something round, okay? Go get those four things. You can pause the video, and when you come back, you're gonna learn about analog clocks. I'm sure you know about digital clocks, but we're gonna focus on the analog clock today. So go get that stuff, and then come right back. Cool. All right, let's see what I can do to erase this. Okay, here we go. This is the objective today. To learn to tell time to the nearest five minutes using an analog clock. An analog clock. The analog clock, it often looks like a face. Where there's numbers here. It kind of looks like a face even sometimes. You can maybe see the face on the analog clock. Hope that erases. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is the objective, once again. Now remember, you can always pause the video. I know sometimes I talk a little bit fast, but pause the video if you need to. You can take a picture of it. You can write it down. Remember, I want you to take notes, just like all our videos. Take notes and then send pictures through dojo okay special shout out for those students that have I've had quite a few kids sending me pictures so thank you very 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 much take notes send pictures you can pause it at any time learning to tell time with an analog clock okay we're gonna create an analog clock to create an analog clock there are four steps. Step one, we're going to use our cup and trace a circle. Step one, trace. Let's find a marker that works, huh? Just like in real school, Mr. Agnew can never find markers that work. All right, so we're going to trace our circle. Boom. Check. Second step, label the 12, 6, 3, and 9. These are kind of like anchor points. 12, 6, 3, and 9. Yeah? Okay. Let's label them. Remember the 12 is on the top. Opposite the 12 is a 6. On this side, we have our 3. And on this side we have our nine. So I kind of what I basically did is divided my clock into four different sections. Now I'm missing a few numbers. I'm missing a few numbers as I go around, but did I let my step two take care of? Yes, I did. Label the 12, the six, the three, and the nine. I evenly spaced them. I evenly spaced them. Don't worry about trying to do it right now. I'm going to talk you through all the steps, and then I'm going to let you try a few. Okay? Step three, plug in the rest of the numbers. So between the 12 and the 3, I have the 1 and 2. Between the 3 and the 6, I have the 4 and the 5. Now I have the 7 and the 8. 9 is already there, there's my 10, there's my 11. That's my third step, making the analog clock. First step, trace the circle. Second step, label the 12, the 6, the 3, and the 9. Now that really helps them to space them out evenly. The third step, we plugged in the rest of the numbers. Fourth step is writing the number minutes, counting by 5. 
It's going to be a little bit different because we're counting by five all the way around. Okay, for this, I'm going to draw you a bigger one just to show you. Okay, remember 12, 6, this was 9, this was 3, we have 1 and a 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, just like that. If I go too fast, stop it and slow down. They're kind of all evenly spaced, even though I went really, really fast. The reason that helps is because I did my 9, my 12, my 3, and my 6. I did those first. Okay? The fourth step, write the minutes counting by 5. Remember, there are 60 minutes in one hour. 60 minutes in one hour. So when we count by minutes, we're going to go on the outside. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And like we said, 60 minutes in an hour. But instead of putting 60, often it is mentioned as a zero. Okay. Sometimes there's not the two dots in between. It's just the zero. Okay, o'clock is often ending on the 12, just like that. So now we created our analog clock. Pause it if you need to. Let's take a look at our steps again. We trace the circle. Now you can use different size circles if you want. If you want a bigger cup, this side is probably a little bit bigger than this side. Take a picture, send it to me on Class Dojo. It'll be a lot easier for me to see that you're understanding it once you do the work, okay? Um, Next set, let's talk about a little bit of vocabulary. A little bit of vocabulary. All right, think about this. The analog clock. That's our very, very, very most important vocabulary word this lesson. It was in our objective to tell the time to the nearest five minutes using an analog clock. Remember, the analog clock looked like a face. I even drew the face on. The digital clock is often the one that you'll see the time like this, like an alarm clock. 1.15. It's on a watch. It's on the iPhone. It's on all those kind of things. Most of the time, you're going to see digital clocks, but analog clocks, that's a really cool way to tell time. Remember, it often looks like a face is on it. Yeah? Okay. Get yourself some paper, pencil, Clear your boards, clear your work area. We're gonna do a few together, okay? All right. I want you to draw what I show. So this right now, that time is 4.05. Four is the hour hand, that was what we mentioned first. Oh five. This is the minute hand. Mr. Agnew, hour and minute hand? We didn't talk about those. The hour hand, okay? That's the fat one. It's kind of shorter. It's chunky, just like the word hour hand. Hour is the thicker of the two. Notice how this one is much, much thicker than this one. The minute hand, Two more vocabulary words. So far we had analog and digital. Now we have hour hand and minute hand. Okay, those are the hands on the clock. Minute, it's a much longer word. Notice, one, two, three, four letters. One, two, three, four, five, six letters. It's longer, it's skinnier, okay? Minute hand, hour hand, Minute hand, just like that. 405. Now this is on your problem set on our step one on the math. So four is the hour hand. It's pointed to the four. And five, because this is counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. In fact, go back to one of the clocks that you made. And we're going to number all the way around the minute hands. Okay, the minutes, not the hours, the minutes. You can do this as you'd like. You can watch me if you want. 
But remember, I am looking for those pictures to come in. Okay. Okay. The hour hands are the short fat ones. So this is four. It's kind of thicker, right? And then 05, remember we numbered it on the outside. I might have rushed through that. I'm going to come back and go a little bit slower on that part. 60 minutes in an hour. So when the minute hand goes all the way around, that's going to take 60 minutes. So here it is. This would be 4 o'clock. We go by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and we don't say 60, we say that it's the o'clock because there's 60 minutes in an hour, okay? In fact, if you look at this clock right here, this analog clock, you'll notice there's all these little marks all the way around the outside, the perimeter, all the way around the outside. Those are the minute hands. Those are the minutes. The hours are the 12, the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, the 5. So you have hands moving at different times or different speed. Let's see if I can show you on this one. Okay. As this moves, you'll notice the minute hand moves all the way around and the hour hand moves just one hour. So now we're at 5.05. If I went all the way around another hour, all the way around, notice I'm moving it on the back, but all the way around, my minute hand moved 60 minutes and my hour hand only moved one hour. So now it's gone around two times. The minute hand has gone around two times. The hour hand has only moved two hours. We started at 4.05, remember? That was our problem set. We started at 4.05. And we went all the way to 5.05. .05. Now we're at 6.05. If we go around one more hour, what time will it be? I'm guessing you probably said 7.05. Perfect, right? Hour hand moves one spot in one hour. The minute hand moves 60 spots, okay? Let's go back, see this is how I adjust it. I took the battery out. Let's go back all the way and let's get to where we had it to 4.05. That's our problem set. I know I'm getting off track a little bit as I normally do. Mr. Agnew talks a lot. That's all right, I miss you guys, okay? 4.05. We wanna change the hands to where it shows 4.55. So before you begin, you can start thinking about drawing your clock or thinking about where that minute hand is going to be to where we get to 4.55. When we're looking at our minutes, come back to this one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. 5, 10, 15, actually 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. We need to get to 455. So when I draw it, it's going to go this way. It always goes in the same direction. Goes all the way around. And now we're at 455. And you'll notice the hour hand is almost to the 5. In 5 more minutes... Now it's gonna be five o'clock, okay? So we went from 4.05 to 4.55. Let's draw what it would look at 4.55. I'm gonna put it back. 4.55, there, okay? Let's draw this one. Circle. Guys, telling time using an analog clock is very, very difficult. It does take time. Be okay with that. Right now, let's focus on learning to make a clock if we can. You make the clock first, then we figure it out. Remember, we made our anchor points. Where is my... We used the circle. We labeled 12, 6, 3, and 9. 
Step three, plug in the rest of the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Trying to make them evenly spaced. Okay, we wanna to try to show 455. It was at 405, we moved it all the way around to show 455. I really hope y'all can see all this. I know I got a lot going on. Here we go. Um, we want to draw this time. Remember, pause the video if you have to. If I'm going too fast, pause it. You can rewatch it. That's what's great about these YouTube videos. You can always rewatch them. Okay, four, start in the middle. The hour hand, remember the hour hand is the thicker one. It's a little bit chunkier, okay? Four, now the hour hand almost to the five. It's almost in the five o'clock. Make it kind of chunky. Color it in if you'd like. 55 to the 11, all the way around. That means 55th minute. Remember, keep it real skinny, just like it's the longer one, just like the uh, word minute. Minute, skinny hand. Hour is thicker. If you want to make it even fatter, that's okay. Okay? Cool. All right. So we went from 405 to 455. These next few I want you to try. Okay, I'm going to leave some of this stuff up so you can kind of see. The minute hands go on the outside. The hour hands go on the inside. Next one I want you to do is show 735. Show 735. So that's going to be one that you can send me a picture. Start with your circle if you'd like. You want to make another one you can. And then show me what 735 looks like. 12, 6, 9, 3. I know we've made a lot of analog clocks. You're probably getting better at it. That's great. Seven, hour hand. Which one? The thicker one. Thirty-five. Oh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Wow, it's getting rubbed off. There's my thirty-five. Seven. 35. It's almost like it's on top of it. There's actually two hands there. I'm going to show you. 7, 35. We'll keep moving it, keep moving it. Our hand. Okay, that's on a 7. Now we need to move it to where the minute hand gets all the way to the 35. 5, 10, 15. 20, 25, 30, 35. Ah, I see something. Maybe you see it too. On this picture that I drew, my hour hand was almost right on top of the seven and so was my minute hand. On this picture, with this analog clock, the hour hand is between the seven and the eight. The minute hand is on the seven, seven thirty-five. Good. Okay. All right. There's two more I want you to show. Next one. Let's clear this out of the way. I'm gonna review the lesson at the end, so I'm kind of going fast, and then I'm gonna come back and review the lesson at the end. We'll talk about the key points. So we did this one. Come on, Mr. A. Find a marker. We did this one. Four oh five is what the time started at and we turned it into 455. The next one, we just showed 735. The third one I want you to show is 110. Pause the video if you need to. One o'clock and 10 minutes. So the hour hand is right near the one. The minute hand should be at, think about it, Where's the minute hand going to be? Starting here. 5, 10. 
Minute hand should be on the two, okay? I know I'm gonna show you, I, you just did it. Pause the video, it's okay if you see the answer, that's fine. Showing 110, let's see. All the way around. Showing 110, okay? Our hand is on the one. Minute hand is now at the 12. That would be zeros. This is counting by fives. Five, 10. So that's what 110 would look like. Our hand, minute hand, okay? Next one. I'm not gonna tell you the answer on this one, but I want you to show me 250. 2 50. Show 250. Start with the hour hand and then use the minute hand. The hour hand is the thick one. The minute hand is the skinny one. Okay, minute hand, hour hand. First show the hour hand, then show the minute hand, okay? So these are the problems we practice. We went from 405 to 450, uh, 405 to 455. We showed 735. We showed 110. We showed 250. Let me talk to you a little bit about what your exit tickets is gonna look like, okay? You'll see two clocks on your exit ticket. These are analog clocks, just like we've been talking about. The first one, it'll look just like this. The hour hand is past the five, and the minute hand is, I believe, on the four. Okay? That's your first problem on your exit ticket. Remember, it's in your Google Classroom. It's under step two. Problem set and exit ticket are together. Number two, this is what it will look like. The hour hand is past the three, almost to the four, actually. I went backwards. Okay, that's what the exit ticket looks like for number two. This problem, you need to tell me what times those are. Okay, cool. Let's review, I went kind of fast. This is a difficult concept, that's okay. All right, here was the objective. Okay, this is our goal for the lesson. To tell time to the nearest five minutes using an analog clock. You learn that an analog clock is the name of this clock with the face on it. The digital clock is what you often see. Okay, our vocabulary. Analog, check, we know that. Digital, we know that. The hour hand, hour hand is the shorter, thicker one. The minute hand is the longer, skinny one. Hour hand, minute hand, just like that. And then we did our problem set. Oh, we even taught you how to make an analog clock. They're the steps for making an analog clock. Remember, you can use anything circular. Even if you use something kind of bigger, I know that this is a clock. Even if you use something bigger, you can actually come around and trace something pretty big. Maybe you had a piece of poster board. You gotta kind of take your time on going fast, but you can kind of see it makes a bigger circle. We labeled it. Remember, you always label the 12 first. Opposite the 12 is the six. Opposite these two, three and nine, that was step two. They're evenly spaced. Step three, plug in the rest of the numbers. One, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven. And now basically I have like that. The, third, the fourth step was writing the minutes, counting by five, going on the outside. Okay, maybe I can switch colors on this for you. Where's my blue marker? I 
I think the blue works, okay? Now we're counting by the minutes going all the way around. This is step four. This is our zero, this is five. Oh no, no! This is five, no! This is five. <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, not 60, but we put two zeros. So we showed you how to make an analog clock. We went over a few different practice problems. You should take pictures of your notes, of your work, send it to me. 405 to 455, we showed 735, 110, and 250. And our exit ticket, these are our questions. Okay? All right. I love you guys. As always, Mr. A, signing out. Keep pedaling. Kip pedaling.